What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans episode where we are focusing again on the builder space and in just a short while we will become a builder hall level 6. Now also you might have seen that recently there have been some changes to the cannon carts and to celebrate that we are going to use at least one army camp of cannon carts per attack today. Now the changes have been that the movement speed is increased by 33% so they are that so much quicker getting to them buildings they also get their first shot off so much quicker as well check it out 0.4 seconds from 1.2 that means they are three times quicker to get that first shot off and once they go down their last stand ability also fires buildings that are that little bit further away. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Are you now going to use the cannon carts? I've never been a big fan of them, but in the last episode, if you missed it, I'll link it in the top right. We actually used them quite successfully to take out an air bomber. As ever, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Clash of Clans. But let's get into this, guys, with that boost. And that means our Builder Hall 6 is just a few moments away so checking out this first base what could we use the cannon carts for now again we could use them to take out this air bomber potentially come that little bit further and even hopefully take out the air defense there as well and maybe even get the baby dragons in so let's take one camp of baby dragons one camp of boxer giants and then let's my cannon carts are only level 2, so this is going to be tough for me in this episode, but we're going to try anyway, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's just try this army comp composition. If it fails horribly, then we know in the next attack not to do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and just spread the giants out, then put the cannon carts that little bit wider apart. Let's get the battle machine in as well. One of the boxer giants has already been sprung out of the way, so that means one of the cannon carts at least is a little bit vulnerable, but really we want that air bomber down. If we can get that down pretty quickly, we can then move on to this double cannon. Unfortunately, it is blasting away at our... Um, at our cannon carts and they are going down pretty quick really what i wanted here was that air bomber down it hasn't quite gone the cannon carts have done a decent job guys they've managed to take out the defenses i wanted them to and this baby dragon here has in fact taken out the firecracker it has a good shot at the builder's hall actually it might not have that good of a shot because there's a lot of buildings on it oh i didn't see this um cannon cart at the bottom there had i have seen it we might have been able to um Actually, we wouldn't have taken the Builder's Hall because it turned and took the Crusher, but the two-star clutched at the end of that raid. Not too bad, actually, guys. Let's just see. He's destroyed our Builder Hall. Will we get the victory? No, not a chance. There you are, as I was explaining last episode. Just a ma well, Builder Hall 6, not max, but he has a max battle machine. And again, my base has been crushed. So the first one ends up in a fail, guys. But we are using the cannon carts. It looks like we have time for one more attack before our Builder's Hall does indeed get upgraded. Is this virtually the same base? It's pretty similar, isn't it? You know what, guys? That didn't go too badly. It really didn't. Um... I think let's maybe try it again, but let's come from the opposite side because I think the air bomber there is going to be out of the way if we're targeting the builder hall from the bottom. So let's go ahead, use a very similar strategy. I really want this double cannon down pretty quickly. Which way shall we come from? Oh, that's a difficult decision. I think what we're going to do is something along these lines, guys. Let's go ahead. Boxer Giant has been pushed back. Need a couple of them in. Let's get the battle machine in. Maybe shouldn't have done that already. Let's let's actually go ahead and get one baby dragon in. I just want to put one just to try and get that double cannon out the way so it's not blasting on my ground troops as we did. That is a good, probably a good exchange, I would think. We just need these cannon carts. Oh no, they've gone in the same area as the battle machine. So it looks like they are indeed going to go down. Yes, they have. They are history. This is not good, guys. This is a big, fat, epic fail right here, guys. The cannon carts, I guess I can't be too harsh on them. I haven't upgraded them up until this point because I haven't been a fan of them. So we only have level 2 cannon carts. Maybe shouldn't have committed myself to such an episode in terms of using at least one set of cannon carts. So 
Yeah, that one could have been better, couldn't it, guys? That attack certainly didn't go to plan. We managed to get the baby dragon onto the builder's hall, but the cannon cost just went down too quickly. If we win here, this will be just amazing. Let me know in the comments, how many times have you had a big massive fail and you've actually won the raid? It's not gonna happen on this one, but it's actually gonna be pretty close. Looks like he's gonna actually get the two star, but there have been times where I have had the most amazing fail ever. Like, I thought for definite I had lost for sure. I come back and my opponent's got like 30%. It happens quite a lot, guys, so just check it out. As that Builder Hall just gets blasted towards Builder Hall 6, I mean, that is a master builder who has really mastered his skill. Down to three minutes already, so we're just going to sit around. Let's check out the attack. 65% he got with the Baby Dragons and the Minions, and actually, guys, we have the Minions going up to level 10 ourselves, I think. As soon as we get to Builder Hall 6 here, Baby Dragons will be the key. I'm going to try and get them right the way up. In in fact, the battle machine as well, but I don't want to get away from this, guys. Check it out as that master builder smashes it down. Three, two, one. Boom, there we are at Builder Hall 6. Wow, fantastic stuff. I think what we're going to do, guys, check out that. 25 new defenses. All of them walls actually makes up 20 of them, so not so impressive. The Archer Tower, the Crusher, one new mine and that roaster. Now, I think actually following advice from you guys, I'm going to build the crusher first. So let's go ahead and actually just get that building. Why not? We might as well do that, guys, because we've got nothing to lose. We can use the rest of our clock tower boost, but as we're speaking here, it is going down. So what can we do with the cannon carts for this attack? Well, again, the air bomber, look at that, right at the side of the map. That's pretty good. What I think I'm going to do is maximize on the troops that I have that are well upgraded. And that is the baby dragons. Now, the, the issue we have is that the builder hall is actually pretty well protected. What I think I want to do is bring the battle machine in from the top here with the cannon carts to try and get out this area. I'm a little bit worried about the crusher, but if they could get down towards that firecracker quick enough, they might indeed be able to take it out. So I'm going to put the battle machine there along with the cannon carts behind, not too close, just in case they do start taking any splash damage and run into the range of that multi mortar. I don't want them both to go down mega quick. But the battle machine has walked straight into that crusher, which is not what we wanted. He might be able to take it out, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to. The cannon card hasn't taken out the air bomber. He has managed to get it out, but the other cannon card has been left vulnerable. And he has fallen. So, how can we do this, guys? I'm not actually sure whether we're going to be able to get that builder's hall. But we're just going to have to try our best. Certainly not a brilliant episode here, but... We're having fun all the way. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Just testing out the new cannon carts, but like I said, probably should have upgraded them before we started this episode. Oh, I should have put that baby dragon in that little bit uh, later. Luckily, the double cannon did go down relatively quickly and it retargeted the baby dragon up towards that Tesla, which is where I wanted it to go in the first place. Now, at this point, I'm gonna be a little bit patient, running a little bit of a risk in hoping they get that Builder's Hall, which they did. And it just means that I then have more Baby Dragons to pick up percent. I could have sent another one in to try and time it so that just as the Baby Dragon went down, it would then get the shot off on the Builder's Hall. So I wasn't taking damage on travel time, but I took the risk and it paid off, meaning that I get a better percentage. So there you are, guys. Cannon carts used to... Well, they didn't take out anything, really, did they? We still needed the Baby Dragon to finish off the Air Bombers, but they kind of carved a, a path on that right-hand side. Just need to hope we do better than our opponent. No. No, we didn't. Max Troops. Honestly, guys, in a few episodes' time, we will have maximum troops and, you know... Well, I say a few episodes. We'll have Builder Hall 6 troops, and then hopefully we'll do a little bit better. Now, check this base out. Can we three-star this base? I'm, hmm. There's an air defense upgrading. So, again, baby dragons could be nice. And the, the only thing I'm worried about is right next to the air bombers here, there are um, the double cannon and the regular cannon. Can we get to that with just a couple of archers is what I'm thinking, just so we're not... You know, flying the cannon carts in too heavily. 
eight archers. Would they manage to take that out? I'm really not too sure whether they would. I don't think they'd get both cannons, but they might. Might just be able to get the double cannon, but is it worth it? You know what, guys? We're, we're too busy trying to get into the depth of this. We're just enjoying the cannon carts. I mean, we've had so many fails already. Let's go ahead and just, you know, use a few more. So let's just push the cannon carts in. What I'm hoping here is to get this entire section out, whereby they can take the air bomber and the firecracker out. But what I'm just a little bit worried about is that double cannon, which has indeed, look at how quickly it took out that cannon cart. Wow, that's not what we wanted, guys. Cannon cart there. Oh, that one's gone down as well. <laughs> we should have took the archers. Should have took the archers. This is going to be a fail, guys. Three baby dragons left, and it looks like they're going to go down pretty quickly to that. Oh, man. Do we just go for the one star? No. No, I haven't got it in me. Let's see. Oh, it's gone off to the side. This is just an awful episode. Absolutely just not working very well. The Tesla pops there as well. We need this baby dragon to track to the Tesla, take it out, and then it has somewhat of a chance, but it's already too low health. That arch tower is going to finish it off. So we get the one star. We were going for the three star, guys. And you can see that this episode is just not going very well at all. Like we said earlier though, will we actually take the victory here? I've had it before where I've had a horrible attack. I've failed miserably with what I wanted to do and I've actually won the battle. Will it be the case? We'll just have to wait and see. So what's your verdict? I mean, cannon carts, we're highlighting the changes here. Oh, again, what luck we are having. That had like no health left on it. Oh, okay, okay. Not great, guys. Not great. What is your verdict on the cannon carts? I guess I really can't be too, you know, much of a judge on them there because I've never been a fan of them. You know, I've only got them level 2. All my other troops are level 10. If my cannon carts were level 10, maybe this might have been a different episode. How about, guys, what we're going to do in the coming week or two is we're going to upgrade these cannon carts to at least level 10. Maybe not to level 12, the Builder Hall 6 level but at Builder Hall 5, we'll get them as if they were a max Builder Hall 5. So we can have a little bit more of a true comparison. I think what we're going to do... I know it's awful, guys. We're just going to cut it there. We have lost every single attack this video. So if you are here for strategy tips, which a lot of you guys are, well, you know, pro here. I am a pro, and I've showed that today with each and every one of them fails, guys. But it has it has been the cannon carts. Did want to highlight to them, show you the changes. Obviously, let me know in the comments what difference you have with them. I have seen them mixed alongside the Giants quite successfully with some of my other friends discussing that they are just basically bringing in Giants with the cannon carts behind, and it's working quite nicely. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. I've been your host, Juno Sloth. Make sure to subscribe for more Clash of Clans, and until next time... Peace out, guys.